Recently, I've been doing a lot of reflecting. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> and during that reflection, I was thinking about my most popular video, the best game in every genre. There are a lot of things about that video that I wish I could change. I want to talk about genres that I know well. I want to sound less objective, and I want to get a lot of views. I mean, uh, talk about genres from a starting point rather than a pinnacle. So today, let's look at the best introductory games in my favorite genres. Roguelike, Hades. More like Hades nuts! <laughs> I think I used that joke last time. Hades is one of the most comfortable roguelikes there is, as the game lets you progress and get stronger over its runtime. Add to this the fact that going back to the hub never feels like a punishment and more feels like a time to reset as you interact with all the fascinating characters and level up gear to get yourself ready for the next run. Battle Royale, Fortnite. Fortnite is a great starting point for anyone looking to get into battle royales. Hell, it's a great starting point for anyone looking to get into any multiplayer game, as it's super simple and has a ton of fun mechanics. It's more focused on making the player smile, as winning often feels secondary to fun in Fortnite. Add to this a bevy of crossovers and a ton of seasonal events, and I can't imagine a better jumping off point for the battle royale genre. Puzzle games. Viewfinder. Maybe it's recency bias. It's absolutely recency bias. But Viewfinder is a great starting point for anyone looking to get into puzzle games. The puzzle genre can be one of the scariest to confront for a new player, as the difficulty ramp is often overwhelming and most players end up quitting when the going gets too tough. But Viewfinder is a relatively easy game while still making the player feel like a genius for every solution they uncover. That light bulb feeling is necessary for a puzzle game to hook the player in, and I believe Viewfinder balances that perfectly with its difficulty, making it one of the best starting points for the puzzle genre. Open World Sable I think that Sable's condensed open world leads it to feeling more manageable as the player surfs through on their sand speeder. It's beautiful and packed with secrets. Uncovering them always feels like a joy and never feels like a chore. Most people have played an open world game, but if I were suggesting one to a new gamer, this would be the first one I would have them play as it can quickly instill a sense of wonder and a lust for discovery. Survival, Minecraft. I'm not a big Minecraft guy. I'm actually a really little one. But I recognize its value for new players. Minecraft is the perfect starting point for a survival game as it sets you free in its incredibly malleable world. It's easy to survive, but it takes years to truly thrive as you automate every system possible and hone each space to make your farm as efficient as possible. Metroidvania, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. While Hollow Knight is definitely the best Metroidvania, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is the most friendly to beginners. By quickly handing out abilities, it shows why Metroidvanias are so fun to delve into, as your power fantasy grows ever larger and the world feels more conquerable. Ori and the Will of the Wisps isn't a complex game, and that's exactly why it's a great jumping off point, as it launches people to its more difficult counterparts. 3D Platformer, Mario Odyssey. There really is no wrong answer for 3D platformer, as this genre is typically known for its ease, so I can go with the one that is just the best, which is Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey has something for everyone, from experienced players to beginners, as the game is very easy to beat but difficult to master. Its world is a joy to explore, and it's easily both the best 3D platformer for everyone to play, and also has a big dinosaur, so take that. 2D platformer, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze is to 2D platformers what Sniper Monkey is to blurbs. Good ways for me to incorporate Monkey into video. In all seriousness, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is one of the best 2D platformers I have played as of recently, and its relative ease makes it a no-brainer for beginners to pick up. While games like Celeste and Shovel Knight boast more nuance and better overall stories, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a wonderful starting place as it's relatively easy to pick up and really hard to put down. Isometric, Death's Door. Death's Door strips back some of the overwhelming and often baffling mechanics housed in some isometric games to make something that is simple yet lovable. Its cute cast of characters, gorgeous ambient world, and fun set of gameplay mechanics make it an instant standout for all without frustrating the player. It puts on display the best qualities of other games like Tunic and allows you to see the beauty this genre can house. Enough! What? Oh, I just felt like that was that was enough. Oh, okay. Sounds good. 
If you're apprehensive about getting into any of these genres, I suggest all of these games, as they are great starting points. Things like roguelikes and metroidvanias can feel overwhelming to burst into, but I think these games all do a good job of showing the qualities they have while also being friendly to beginners. Regardless, thank you for watching, and now it's time for my Patreon. A special thanks to Avon, Doug Merman, Bandwagon, and of course Mr. Kairu. Every single month these awesome subscribers help support the channel, and I couldn't be more grateful. No seriously, the guilt is weighing on me. Okay, bye bye